Hey everyone, thanks for your time. Last week, acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy reported that SpaceX promised him that the lunar lander that they are developing, the HLS variant of Starship, won't delay Artemis 3. Um, I, I, I talked to their leadership team yesterday, talked to Gwen. They feel very comfortable on Starship. They feel like they're on page for the lander um, on track. So they, they feel very good. They said if there's a holdup for Artemis 3, it's not going to be them. So you promised me, and they said, yeah, I promise, it's not going to be us. Mm -hmm. So they feel really good. Does that mean Starship will finish all the pre-Artemis 3 tech demos in the next year, and the Artemis 3 HLS will be orbiting the moon in less than two years? Or does it just mean that SpaceX is banking on more delays to SLS and Orion being announced before their delays? If they just think it's a game of scheduled chicken, everyone is going to be delayed again, and they won't be the next, that's what's happened so far. But the big schedule question for the Artemis 3 program specifically, or the launch date in general, isn't which program is going to be delayed next, it's when will all the programs be ready. SpaceX isn't racing against SLS or Orion for Artemis 3 right now, they're racing against the calendar. According to the administrator, SpaceX says they're not going to be late, but so far everyone is late, including Starship. Delays of those programs and Axiom space development of the lunar surface spacesuit don't slow down Starship development any more than the progress and breakthroughs in Starship technology demonstrations in 2024 resulted in progress for SLS or Orion production. Starship was selected to be the lunar lander for Artemis 3 in April 2021. At various times since then, Artemis 3 was scheduled for launch at the end of 2024, the original goal, no earlier than 2025, December 2025, and September 2026. Starship might not have been the first to be delayed, but it missed all of those schedules. So maybe this will be another case of schedule chicken, where one program gets blamed for the delay, but the other programs had no chance of making the schedule either. For example, delays of Artemis 2 from 2024 to now 2026 have been attributed to Orion. However, SLS and Exploration Ground Systems weren't ready to fly at the end of 2024 and might not have been ready to fly next month in September 2025 either. Does that mean it wasn't them or that they weren't ready? I went through this in more detail in a video last October about alternatives to the Artemis 3 lunar landing mission. A lot has changed in nearly a year, and alternatives could be a topic again, but the schedules have continued to change as much as anything. NASA's Office of Inspector General was given access to the Starship schedule a few months after SpaceX was awarded the sole source contract for the Artemis III lunar lander. OIG reported that as of August 2021, SpaceX planned the first Starship flight test just a few months later by late 2021. That would be followed by the propellant transfer demonstration at the end of 2022, the uncrewed lunar landing demonstration for Starship HLS in 2023, and the crew demonstration that was part of the Artemis 3 mission was pointed at that end of 2024 deadline. NASA finally delayed the original end of 2024 date for Artemis 3 in November 2021 to no earlier than 2025. So that could be anywhere from a one-day to a one-year delay. Artemis 2 was delayed at the time to mid-2024, given the ongoing delays to Artemis 1. But no one else was ready for Artemis 3 at the end of 2024 either. Artemis 1 did fly at the end of 2022, and after that flight, Artemis 2 was hoped to be two years after that, the end of 2024. The Artemis 3 date was moved to December 2025. That delay wasn't on Starship, and December is still four months in the future, but Starship HLS would need to be orbiting the moon by Thanksgiving, so SpaceX isn't going to be ready for Artemis 3 in December 2025 either. Right after New Year's in January 2024, NASA announced another delay of Artemis 2 to September 2025 and Artemis 3 to September 2026. That January 2024 delay was blamed on issues with Orion, so that wasn't on Starship either. At the time I went through the schedule history last October, Starship was supposed to complete its ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer demo this year, 2025, and the uncrewed lunar landing demo sometime early enough in 2026 to support that September 2026 launch date. 
But Starship isn't expected to conduct that ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer demo until sometime in 2026 now, so they're going to miss the September 2026 date, just like the other programs, but also regardless of the other programs. Artemis 2 was delayed again last December, as the issues first made public with Orion at the beginning of 2024 took longer to resolve. So the dates for Artemis 2 and 3 were pushed back to where they are now, Artemis 2 in April 2026 and Artemis 3 in mid-2027. Artemis 2 launch preparations have reached the point where the schedules for EGS, Orion, and SLS have to fit together, but that's not the case yet for future missions. Right now for Artemis 3, everyone is still working in their own silos. I started this YouTube channel at the beginning of 2024, and all five programs working on Artemis 3 have been working on their own baggage the whole time. The items on the watch list haven't changed very much in a year and a half, only the dates. Orion and SLS are still working to finish building their flight hardware, and Axiom Space and SpaceX are still working to finish development of theirs. The better question that needs to be asked periodically, and the more important question for each program, is what is their schedule of milestones to be ready for NASA to launch Artemis 3? For Axiom Space, when will they complete all the testing necessary for the critical design review, and when will they complete CDR? And then when will the flight suits be ready to load on Starship? For EGS, Orion, and SLS, when is Artemis 2 flying? For Orion specifically, when will the Artemis 3 crew module and service module be ready to mate? And when will the spacecraft be completed and handed over to EGS for launch processing? For SLS, when will the Artemis 3 core stage elements be ready for their final mate in the vehicle assembly building at the Kennedy Space Center? And then when will the stage be finished and ready for stacking? And for Starship, when will a Starship stay in orbit for 24 hours? When will the first Starship launch for the ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer demonstration? When will the HLS critical design review be completed after that demonstration test? And when will the Starship HLS for the uncrewed lunar landing demo make its TLI burn to start that test? Milestone schedules are way more detailed than that, and it would be informative to see levels of detail beyond that. But that's the flavor of the high-level schedule questions that the programs could provide updates on periodically. Or once, even. Thanks as always for watching. Whether this was scheduled chicken or not, in public the Artemis 3 schedule remains a mystery and will be a topic we return to often. Like and subscribe if you find these videos informative and want to find out what's going on with Artemis every week. As usual, a big thanks to the members of this YouTube channel who are helping to make it possible to keep doing these videos. Thanks again. See you next time.